Yeah, right over the wheel well will be good. Got the yellow SETI for the shine shack. A little compost. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Sunshine Acres. Jason here. Uh, rolling the dice a little bit. I've got this sun directly in my face, so I think I've got everything in the camera. But if not, we'll reshoot this later. But uh, a little chilly this morning, but still a beautiful day here at Sunshine Acres. And what we're doing today is we're getting ready for, I don't know, we're going to call it garden slash pool, patio, prep. Get everything ready for planning and for summertime entertainment here at the pool. Uh, we do have some activities uh, closer to the barn as well that involve you know replanting and moving some bushes around so we'll get into some of that later uh, but really big uh, cool news stay tuned to the end of this video we've got one decorative item uh, that we're going to get hung today at the pool and well it may not be today but this week and i want you guys to see that it's really cool uh, i gave you a sneak peek a couple weeks ago on that but yeah stay tuned to the end for that uh we're gonna get like we said we got some decorations to hang we've got metal roof panels here to go on the cabana bed god i feel like we do a video on that cabana bed every every year <laughs> and hopefully this is it we got a little bit of prep work to do for that but hopefully once these metal panels go on uh finito we should be done and dry in in that guy uh, i've got a load of compost we'll get that spread out in the garden We've got uh, mushroom compost that'll be for the berry bushes. We talked about that. And decorative stone to go in and around the garden area. So really just kind of getting stuff prepped, cleaned up, moved around. And another really cool thing you can see back here, you'll probably see these in another video, but uh, the yellow chairs, uh, they're going to the shine shack up in the mountains. So that's getting close to getting done as well. We'll update you on the progress there once uh, probably once that's 100 percent complete we'll give you a tour through that guy but uh yeah i got yellow chairs and compost and stone and metal panels and decorations and all kinds of fun stuff so come along we'll get to work All right, so we're back at this cabana bed roof again. Hopefully this is, I say this every time, but hopefully this is it for a while. Um, you can see the plywood we put up last year. I mean, it got water on it, so it's all warped and, and damaged at this point. So I'm gonna pull the, those pieces of plywood off, and then I'm gonna cut four pieces, 90 inches long, to go as uh, cross ribs this direction. And we've got three pieces of metal roofing there. We're gonna put those on, uh, screw those down, and then that should be it. I probably should have done this a long time ago. I think it's gonna look pretty good. Uh, but yeah, let's get this uh, get this new guy on here so we can finally check a box and have a, a complete and functional cabana bed this year. Come along. Kind of on the fence here what to do. I went in and spread them out another rib spacing to get uh, get some overhang on each side, but I'm afraid that may be too much. Let me go back and show that to you when it's uh, the tighter spacing. So this is with the tighter spacing. I can straighten that up a bit, but uh, 
just a tiny bit overhang. So I've tightened that back up to where it's just got a tiny bit of overhang on each side, but I'm just not quite sure what to do here. Um, if we could just like mind control, like Miss Kara, could you please answer this question for us? Sunshine Acres to Miss Kara, come in Kara. All right, I'm catching a vibe from Sunshine Acres. I think my husband's trying to communicate with me. A little weird. Um, but yeah, as far as my options go, I'm gonna vote less overhang. I think it looks classier and will be plenty of protection. So thanks for the options. That's what I'm going with. Got it, boss. That's what we do. All right, so the next phase of this project is not near as exciting, so I won't bore you with a whole lot of it, but we're gonna get that compost, if I could point in the right direction right there, out of the dump trailer and into the garden beds. Come along. Okay, so we got the compost spread out everywhere in the garden with the exception of the outer band up to that point. So we've got three berry bushes back here, two blackberry, one blueberry. We're gonna relocate. I don't think you're gonna be able to see with that sunlight. But up uh, beyond the barn there, we went to Visions and got some more compost in the dump trailer. And then you can see where these daffodils are at right here. We're going to relocate the berry bushes in there and then split daffodils. So that's, uh, so I think here you can see a little better. We got these daffodils and they're ready to be split. We moved these from the townhouse years ago. So they've been well established. And you can kind of see the pattern here. We've got two, I'm sorry, three one offset and then three more down here we're going to relocate one two and the middle one three and split those guys up and then split the other four next year so some of these will get relocated here i want to create like a four a square there and then another square there one two three berry bushes in the middle so i think it'll uh, it's kind of hard to explain but i think you'll see it it makes sense Okay, so this looks pretty good. Uh, we'll call this a new garden area up by the corner of the barn. So we took these daffodils and we split those. Got some new plantings there. 
blueberry bush in the middle, blackberry on either side. And I think we're a raspberry there and then two more blackberries on each side. Some replanted daffodils here. So very happy with that effort. We just need to probably infill some mulch around here as the spring goes just to dress that up, but looks good. Okay, so that is, uh, that's it for, we're gonna call it the grunt work. We still need to plant the garden and Miss Kara will do the tidying up, but for the initial pass, this is, uh, this is what we got. Very happy with this. Looks good. It's always nice to get the fresh compost down. And just get ready for the season. Okay, so the final step of this video, I got Miss Kara a couple of these lawn ornaments, uh, a couple of lizard guys, got a little guy, and then one that we'll put on the end. We'll start with this guy. He's gonna go in this vicinity here, but I'm home alone and I do, I need help. Miss Kara, I need help. Sunshine Acres to Miss Kara. Come in, Miss Kara. Ah, uh, close. Maybe a little left. No, too far. A little right. Uh, okay. Uh, just a little bit. Stop. Okay, good. Right there. All right, boss, you got it. Yes, ma'am. Here's the second item. This is on the far end of the porch near our bedroom. Gonna go in this vicinity here. Miss Carrie, you gonna help me out? Ah, uh, close. Maybe a little left. No, too far. A little right. Uh, okay. Uh, just a little bit. Stop. Okay. That's where you want it? All right, boss, you got it. So last but certainly not least, we have the custom painted saw blade from Miss Joan that we've had for some time now, but it is time to get it up on the wall. We're gonna put it, ooh. Guess that lizard didn't want to stay put. We'll have to fix that guy up. All right, stay put there, little guy. So yeah, back to saw blade. I'll get in closer once we get this guy hung, but uh, yeah, dear friend of ours, Rusty, his mom watches the channel, Miss Joan, and she wanted to paint this saw blade for us. Sunshine Acres established 2016. Little cabin in the woods. Yeah, we'll zoom in once we get this thing hung, but uh, yeah, this thing's super cool. Okay, so we're actually into day three of this video now. Probably shouldn't be, but uh, so had the uh, old stud finder over there and it wasn't working yesterday so i thought i just needed a battery which is actually kind of nice i got on the motorcycle went to box store got a battery so i got a little ride in so that was cool but the battery wasn't the problem so stud finder wasn't working so i got everything laid out and i got a new stud finder today so that's putting us into day three we have fashioned this piece of two by and measured out hopefully we will hit the studs at these four locations and then you can see i've got a bracket that i just 
right with the back out to slide that into. So we'll mount this bracket to the wall. And then we've got the one hanging piece here. So it'll be like that. And then I'm gonna do feats of strength and get this guy up on the, on the wall. So that's it absolutely beautiful got a little sawmill gotta have some roll tide in there a little Alabama got the creek got the deer a couple cabins Absolutely love it. Look who we have in the flesh. It's Miss Kara. Yeah, I get to roll in at the end when all the work's done. Well, thank you for telecommunicating with me for making things happen in this video. It was nice. Well, you know, married as long as we are, you kind of get to that place. Our superpowers of Sunshine Acres are amazing. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, this thing's a wrap. I mean, you like saw blade? I love it. It was such a wonderful gift and so gorgeous on our house. Absolutely love it. Best saw blade ever. Thank you, Miss Joan. Yes. Love you. you. Thank you, Rusty. Thanks for bringing it, Rusty. Thanks for painting it, Miss Joan. And what else? Video we got the cabana beds maybe done, buttoned up for the year. Yeah, I think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so that'll be our first test. Is I believe it's going to be much more watertight than it was before. I'm very happy with how it turned out. I think we purchased no less than five tops for that thing. Different colors, different materials, different. Mm -hmm. And I like the look of it. It kind of looked nice with the fat. We weren't trying to make it watertight. No, it was enough, but each one of them only lasted a season. I think we had three or four seasons and one or two that weren't the size they were supposed to be. <laughs> they got repurposed for something else. But yeah, happy to have something more permanent now. Hope that, yeah, I hope that's it. I see little nesting areas in there now and I've already seen a couple, you know, hornets or wasps checking it out. It's like, so we gotta keep an eye on it, but I think it's a big improvement. Absolutely, I love how it looks. What do you think about your garden? Got all that topped off. Garden is looking great. I'll get to help with the fun part and put in the plants in the ground, but all the hard work is done. All the carrying of buckets. Thank you. Grunt work's done. Yeah. And we got the rest of the decorations hung. We got lizard hung there, lizard hung there. Yeah. I love so, them. That's, that's it. Valentine's present for me and my lizards. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> but now they're up. Now I'm very happy. With the saw blade too, now we have the whole back of the house yep. decorated. It feels good. It feels like it's uh, it's complete. I kind of feel like we know what we're doing now. This is year... Four? Yeah, this is the fourth summer. Uh, no, it'll be the fifth summer because we moved in in April. Yeah, we've been here right? four years. Yeah, April will be four one, years two, we two. lived here. Yeah. It'll be number five summer coming up. Wow. Yeah. But I I mean, I guess we should at that time, but I feel like we know what we're doing. Getting prepped, ready. Every year we add some things, so it takes a little more time, but 
to get done what was done prior takes less time, if that makes any sense. Yeah, just dressing up the garden. It's not starting from scratch. Just adding a few more things out here. But yeah, we're ready to roll. High five. I love you being retired. <laughs> I love me being retired too. It's nice for me. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy making this video. I enjoy. Did you enjoy making this video? Well, I didn't have to do too much making of the video. I, I enjoy seeing all the fruits of your labor that went into making this video. But it was fun. It's not necessarily my favorite thing to do every year, but it was fun. It's good doing it. And I'm glad it's done. Enjoy making it. I hope you enjoyed being here. If you did, please leave a comment, hit the like button, hit subscribe, tell your mama, tell your friends, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.